Hello and welcome back to a behind the scenes on the Adventure Pals. Uh, so if you were with us last time, we kind of went through and designed a cool little dude. Um, this we designed this little character here. Look at him; he's pretty cool looking. Hey, hey, what's going on? What's what's happening, everybody? Um, so today, today we're gonna make this bad boy move we're gonna make him maybe do a little dance or something um we're gonna animate him how i would have probably animated something for the adventure pals uh so i guess the first thing we have to do with this dude is unfortunately we have to like kind of separate him into little bits and that can be i don't know pretty easy i've, I've set him up pretty poorly as you can see uh, if you look at the mailman here, for example, he's kind of set up for it. So like his arm here is separate. He's got a little separate hand with some mail in it. Um, this is his body. Like it's not set up great, but you can kind of see what I've been doing. Uh, you know, he's got his face here with a bunch of different expressions. He's like eating the mail. Yum, 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 yum. <laughs> uh, so yeah, let's, let's go ahead. So I guess <laughs> first thing we got to do is remove a head. Uh, you know, that's very simple. We're just going to... Maybe not do that. We use this little lasso tool. Um, so for anyone that wasn't with us last time, we're in Adobe Animate. Adobe, if you want to be, if you want to pronounce it maybe wrong um, or differently to me, that's fine. I don't mind. All right, cool. Here we go. It's a little head. Now you know this isn't a perfect chop, but that's fine. We can just we can just draw over it later. So we separated the head, just clean up the lines a bit. So I've just pressed Catal G and that's kind of um, put it on a new little kind of layer for us. Uh, but we don't really see the layer so it's a bit invisible. So, you know, now that it's on a separate thing, we can kind of, once we have it in spine, we can like move his face around and do all this crazy stuff. Um, the flower, we don't, you know, I'm pretty lazy. Like you probably should separate him, but I, I don't know. I think it's fine. We'll fix that later. So we want to be, give a bit of an overlap. So we have a bit more room to move our little dude. So I'm just gonna give him, yeah, a little bit of a over, over bit here. And then we can kind of move the head up and down like quite a bit more, a bit more flexibility. Uh, now the body, the body I've set up pretty poorly because it's gonna distort a bit when we animate it. Um, it should be kind of like, if it was set up like quite straight, like the mailman here, you know, there's a lot more um, flexibility in how we can move him. Uh, but if his legs bend to get like a straight leg, it's going to look a little distorted. Uh, but you know, who, who really cares? Let's, let's go on with it anyway. What I will do though is separate the arms because they're a bit too crazy. Um, this arm, uh, I think I'll do a straight arm. So it's, it doesn't get distorted as I was saying. Uh, so we're just gonna have to redraw it in here. Sweet, so now we basically just have to export all our little separate bits. Uh, if, if I wasn't being so lazy, I would have kind of separated this a bit more. But if you, if you kind of set up your spine right, you can actually get away with a lot uh, through just like creating a good mesh and weights around it. So hopefully we'll do that and it'll go all right. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna start a new project in Spine and we'll call, we'll give our little skeleton a name. He can be called um, Flu, Flubiton, Flu, Fluby. Um, so yeah, now we just have to like set up some bones. So I'll just do, uh, I'll do the body first, I guess. I'm just gonna hide the head so it's a little easier. Uh, 
So let's, we're, ju we're just gonna try and match the kind of like uh, bend in the body at the moment. Uh, actually, we'll go the other way. We'll go this way. So, yeah, so just create those bones. So it's just like, you know, a little skeleton. You know, we have skeletons in our body. So this guy needs a skeleton in his body so he can be a real boy. Uh, so another cool thing I uh, realized the other day is you can do like a big bone like this. Uh, it's useful if you have like something straight, for example. Uh, so we got this uh, and we can just go to split and we can split it into maybe four bits, uh, which is, yeah, it's probably a good amount of bones. I'm just gonna copy these bones out. Oh, maybe I won't copy the bones. I'll do it manually, like a not lazy person. Uh, so where's our other arm? Let's find our other arm here. So we're just gonna do the same thing over here. And so the, these bones are part of this bit of the head, as you can see. They're kind of like the shoulder, this is kind of like the shoulder area, I guess. Same thing, split, four, boom. Cool, and then we're gonna have the head. Let's bring him back. Is the head? Yep, all right, cool. So let's, oh, I probably don't need this bone actually, if I'm being honest with you. Bone two, so I'm just gonna grab all these bones and we'll chuck it on bone two instead of bone three. We don't really need that one. We can use that instead for the head. So when you create the bones, you gotta like think about like what you kind of want to animate. Uh, so in the head, for example, like we we probably want to move the little our little flower friends here, uh, and then maybe also the hair. So we're just gonna make sure that we're on this this the main head bone for all of these. Yeah, that, that should be enough, that should be enough. Uh, if, if I wasn't being lazy, I'd probably set this up a lot better, um, but that's probably fine for now. Oh, and also you should probably name all your bones. I'm just, um, you know, as you probably have to could, could have told by now, I'm a bit uh, lazy, you know, if it works, I'm happy, you know, I don't really mind, do the thing. Oh, and all, with these uh, arm bones, I've just remembered, you gotta make them um, kind of like children of each other. So we're just gonna do that. Boop. There we go. We can get like nice little animations for them. Cool. All right, so now we have all these bones, but there's no images attached to them. So this is what we got, but there's nothing attached. So what we'll do first is we'll get arm left perhaps find the bone for that. So I'm actually just gonna name this one. Um, so we can find it, pop, pop it in. So now if we move this bone, the whole arm will move. Yeah, psh, psh, psh. party. Uh, and we'll, we'll do that for all of them first, I guess. Right. Uh, the body, so but the first bone for body starts here. So let's we'll chuck it under there. Head bones, this bad boy, chuck it on here. Probably name the parent bones. Go on, don't be too lazy. Uh, and then we, oh, we also need a little face for our, a little bone for our face. Uh, so I like, if I'm doing something where I just wanna change the position, I'm not like kind of manipulating it. Uh, I'll just kind of click and I'll kind of just create a position for us. We'll just chuck the face under that. And actually, I'm just gonna move this to the right area. There we go. There's our little fella. He's looking so cool. All right, there we go. Uh, oh yeah, we should probably save it as well before it crashes. Um... What's his name? Fluby. Fluby Spine, all right. So he looks a bit shit at the moment, but rest assured, he's gonna he's gonna be having a little dance in no time. 
Let's just position him a bit better. Get all these looking good. There we go. Sweet. All right, so now we wanna kind of set up the uh, meshes for our animation. So we'll start with the arm, because the arm's really easy. So we're just gonna hit mesh. We're gonna hit edit mesh. We're gonna maybe do generate. We'll start with generate, get six vertices. And then we'll just kind of do a few more. We'll see how that looks. If we need more later, we can, we can change it. Um, so we'll, so once you have your mesh, like that's a very simple mesh. You don't need to go too complicated. We'll see how it looks. And then if we need to do more vertices, we can do that later. Uh, so we'll just bind this mesh to the bones we have. So just select these four. And we can just do auto for this because it's, it's a very simple mesh with simple bones. We don't need to have separate parts of it animated too much. And now if we move our arm, yeah, he'll like flop it around. And once you get this, it's good to kind of like stress test it, see uh, see where it breaks, see see where it looks good. So you can see where the vertices are. It kind of creates these like strong kind of uh, points in the arm. So what we might do, we might add a few more. Oh, actually, it should be fine. Like once you zoom out a bit, like remember that you know the character is going to be quite small. Yeah, it looks fine. Psh, 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 psh. He's like slapping his knee. Pow. All right, let's now we just do it. Rinse and repeat for the other arm. You can also just duplicate the arm. Actually, we might just do that because I'm a bit lazy. So we've duplicated it. We get, get it over here. Now we just need to flip it around. But not that way. This way. Cool. All right. And we'll just get rid of these bones. Sorry, sir. Um, oh, we'll rename this. Arm left. Cool. All right change the draw order not, not, oh, here we go just position this correctly cool all right so what should we do next i think uh let's let's go ahead and do the body uh so this will be the most like complicated mesh uh now you don't need to go like too crazy with your mesh. Uh, I see a lot of people do like a, a billion bloody of these little dots, but you don't really need to do that many. Uh, you just want to do them kind of at the key points and maybe like one in the middle. Cool, so we've got the mesh, but it's a bit of a mess at the moment because the bones won't really know how to like interact with each other. So what we might do is create some extra vertices in the mesh. So we'll just put some inside the legs to make it a bit smoother. And we'll we'll kind of create some more, some dots for where the shirt is because we we want the torso to bend more than the kind of crutch like the crutch couldn't, shouldn't really bend that much it might look a bit weird and we'll just create some extra little dots in here okay well, that's kind of, that looks all right uh and now we'll uh, we'll bind it up cool so they were all it we can just do auto to start with so now this is gonna look like a bit of a mess as well like i'll show you i'll show you what we got Pow, pow, look at that, boom. So you can see it's a bit of a mess because when we move the leg, the torso is moving in kind of a really weird way, it's interacting with it. Uh, and how we change that is we just go to the weights. Uh, I'm just gonna hide some of the other shit so you can kind of see what's going on a bit better. Um, see you later, Mr. Head. Oh, his eyes are creepy, let's turn the head back on. Cool, so we got the weights. Now, the way the weights work is the the higher the weight is, the more that the bone will move it. So with this bone here, bone four, for example, this is bright blue. That means that only this bone can move that dot, I think anyway. Uh, so what we wanna do is make sure that the blue, this blue isn't interacting with the torso at all. So we'll get out, get out of here. So we just pull that down. I think we got rid of most of it. Yeah, uh, we'll do the same over here for the orange bone. Don't want no torso action. 
cool. And then this this uh, body bone, like we want we want that taking up most of this area. So just make sure it's about halfway on kind of most of them. Cool. We'll pump it in here a bit. Sweet. Uh, cool. So that's that looks alright. We'll see how that works for now. It's probably gonna still look a bit messy. That's okay. Yeah, it's, that's not too bad. You know, doesn't really matter that much. So next thing we're gonna do, which is quite um, quite useful, is we're gonna create an IK, which means an inverse kinetics, I think, uh, IK constraint. And what that will allow us to do is it'll mean that we can kind of move the body and the character will almost like animate by itself based on the kind of constraints we've get given it. Uh, there is like other ways to do this, I'm pretty sure, but this is kind of what I like doing. So we've got the constraint. So now if you look, if I move this, look, he's, he's moving on his own. We don't even have to do anything. How good's that? Pop, 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 pop. <laughs> All right, so we've got him there. Yeah, it's not too bad, it's not too bad. Uh, we'll do the other leg. All right, cool. All right, so that's kind of set up. Uh, another thing we might want to test is how the torso is bending. Hey, that's it's pretty cool. Yeah, he's dancing already. Uh, we'll see how this one goes. Yeah, that's all right. Yeah, it's always good to test, see if see what's working. Uh, so we can see here, like, oh, whoops, I didn't, I didn't do this one right. I only did one of the legs. My bad. One of the bones. So we, we want to make sure both bones are selected. Boom, boom. Cool. And now we'll go new IK constraints. And then we we'll go leg, right. Cool. Now hopefully it should look better. Yeah, cool. So you can kind of see about here the um, kind of get starts getting messed up a bit too much. Uh, like the crutch looks a bit weird and stuff like that. So maybe we'll try fix the crutch first. And to do that, we'll make sure that only this bone can manipulate the crutch. And that should fix the crutch area. Ooh, yep, that looks all right, but now it's flooping up our other bone, isn't it? Um, hmm, maybe we'll put a bit of a mix, half-half. So all we're doing here is we're just setting up the mesh for animation later. We're not doing any animation yet. Oh, that looks a bit better. It's fine for now. Cool. So because, like... So we have it there, but you know, once we zoom out a bit, like the character's maybe only ever gonna be this big. And he's not gonna be, we're not gonna bend him down like this much. We're just gonna like, we're just gonna do a subtle little bounce. And you know, for that, his legs look fine. So I've just kind of uh, sped it up here because I don't know, the video was like 40 minutes. It was, it was taking its time. And it's just repeating um, basically the techniques I used before to get our little guy going. But you can see him here all rigged up, ready to go, ready for some animating. I actually forgot the basket, but um, that's here now, so uh, that'll be there too. Uh, and yeah, he's all good to go. So tune in to part two as we look at how to animate him. All right, thank you very much. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. <laughs>